Operator. Long distance. Long distance. Give me Jesus on the line. On the Please, Lord, 
forgive us of all of our sins. Now use me, Lord, until you use me up. And the church said, Amen. The text for today is taken from Isaiah, the 61st chapter, the third verse, NIV. To all who mourn in Israel, a joyous blessing instead of mourning. Festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. God's word for the people of God and the people of God said, thanks be to God. For every mountain you've brought me over, for every trial you've brought me through, for every blessing, hallelujah, for this I give you praise. Kurt Carr. Allow me to commend all who have endured this time of great challenge and hardship. Yes, there are feelings of hopelessness, despair, confusion in this season of COVID-19. There are uncertainties with employment, childcare, mortgage payments, leases, and rents that are past due. For some of us spiritually, our lives have been put on life support. And it's all we can do is to survive. The other day, I experienced some difficulty with my laptop. It was slow and I was unable to upload due to limited space for storage. We had to call in a specialist, a systems engineer, who was an expert in hardware, troubleshooting, and software. He did an analysis to identify spyware and malware, but in the end, he told me all I needed to do was to enlarge my memory and to have a reboot, a restart of my computer. Think with me on the subject this morning. Are you in need of a reboot? Are you in need of a reboot? Just like the computer, some have become weak and slow spiritually. And we need a specialist, Jesus Christ, to restore what we have lost. Now, the backdrop of our text, the author Isaiah, describes the restoration of Israel. The Israelites have become weak having been in exile in Babylon. They're in need of a reboot. Allow me three observations of our text. Bring back my joy, bring back his glory, bring back my praise. Are you in need of a reboot? Observation number one, bring back my joy. Verse three, I would rather have beauty over ashes or the oil of joy, gladness, instead of mourning. Verse 1 discusses the anointing to preach, to preach the gospel. But I contend that God allows the spirit to fall upon us in our spiritual walk with him. In life circumstances, Sometimes we allow the conditions to spiritually take away our joy, our anointing, our calling, our favor. We need to be restored because we're in need of a reboot. Only the specialist can do that reboot for us. That's why Ezra says, honor and majesty surround him. Strength and joy fill his dwellings. First Corinthians, the 16th chapter, the 27th verse. In order to get our joy back, 
our gladness back. We need a specialist. Are you in need of a reboot? Observation number two, bring back his glory. That's why we are called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that shows that he will be glorified. When we look at that, God is just saying, I want to be glorified. Mm. I can hear John saying, I glorified thee on earth, having accompanied the work which thou givest to me. John 17, 4. No one can steal my joy. No one can rob me of his glory. Are you in need of a reboot? Observation number three. Bring back my praise. Verse three. The garment of praise is a bright colored garment that is indicative of thanksgiving, thankfulness. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness and despair. Is there anyone out there that knows anything about heaviness? Sometimes you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Sometimes you carry the weight of your family all by yourself. And does anyone know about despair? You go from one storm to another. Don't let the hard times, the difficult times, steal your joy. Steal his glory. I wish I had a witness in there. Steal his praise or your praise. Paul says, therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. Hebrews 13, 15. Is there anyone that's willing to make a sacrifice of praise? Is there anyone, hallelujah, that is able to call his name? What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. We've got to call the specialists in to just give us a reboot. The Lord has been good to me. The Lord has saved me. The Lord has healed me. The Lord has redeemed me. I just can't stop praising his name. Even in the midst of my sickness, I just can't stop praising his name. Even in the midst of my despair and troubles, I can't stop praising his name. Even though the country is going through and I don't know exactly who's really telling the truth, I can't stop praising his name. I, I wish I had a witness out there. I just can't stop praising his name. I, I, you might be like David, even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because his rod and his staff are there to comfort me. I wish I had a witness. I can't stop praising his name. Jesus, you can't steal my joy. You can't steal his glory. You can't steal my praise. Is there anyone out there just touch the television set and say, yeah? Mm. Are you in need of a reboot? Call in the specialist. I pray that someone was blessed today. If you are saying that you are ready to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior for the very first time, you want it inviting into your life. You're ready to confess your sins, repent of your sins. What must I do? Well, you've taken the first step. We call that conversion. And he will be more than happy to receive you. Secondly, you say, Reverend, how can I become a member of St. James? I've 
saved. I've been in church. But we like what we hear and we like what we see. You're moving to San Antonio for the very first time. We call that membership. And we will be more than happy to receive you. Details are followed. You say, Reverend, I was born in the church. I sang in the choir. I served as an usher. But I want to come home. How can I come back? We call that rededication. Because you may have left him, but he's never left you. Details are forthcoming. Then there are those who say, Reverend, I live out of the country. I live out of the state. I live out of the city. My work schedule won't allow me to get up on Sundays to come to church. Sometimes I'm confined to my home or to my bed. How can I get my praise on? Oh, we've got something just for you. It's called Virtual Membership. On YouTube Live, on Facebook Live, you can be a part of what the Lord is doing here at St. James. And you will be a virtual member. We would love to have you. Details are followed. We want to thank you for your generosity as you partner in our ministry. We invite you to sow into our ministry by Giveify, an app on your cell phone, Zelle, where you can transfer funds, or mail in your gift to the church so we can continue with our food program to feed the hungry clothe the naked, to reach out into the community to those who are homeless and find a place where they can rest their heads, to continue to help our first responders who work diligently in our community. Details are following, but we thank you already in Advance. Now, I want to thank Presiding Elder Brenda Payne for blessing us on Family Day. If you were not able to share Family Day with us this week, please join us at 3 p.m. this afternoon on Facebook and YouTube. Just put in on YouTube, Pastor Al 54. We are still receiving donations for Family Day, and we are asking for a hundred dollar donation. However, you can give whatever God desires, five, 10, 20, it will be appreciated. Thank all of you for tuning in on last Sunday. Lastly, we would like to thank you for a moment of your time. The Lord willing, we will see you next week, same time, same station. And remember, if you're in need of a reboot, let's call on the specialist. God bless you. God keep you. And God loves you. We're gonna praise you, Lord. We're 
We're gonna praise you, Lord, always. We magnify your name. We magnify your holy name. We magnify your name, always. We lift up. Are you ready to lift up holy hands? Always. Always. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Oh, it's time to praise him now. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Mm, just close your eyes and feast We're on him. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now. Always. For all your many blessings. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Oh, there's someone out there that's ready to praise him. We're gonna praise you, Lord. There's somebody out there ready to just surrender to him. We're gonna praise you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Always. Always. We magnify your name. Oh, come on and magnify his holy name. We magnify your We're gonna holy have church up in here. Name. We magnify your name. Always. Always. We magnify. Oh, come your on. Name. Lift up that brother. We magnify. Lift your up that sister. Name. Oh, we can do it now. We magnify your name. We're gonna magnify him. Always. <laughs> Always. We lift up holy hands. I'm lifted up my hands to surrender to we you. Lift up holy <laughs> hands to you. We lift up holy hands. I'm lifting them. Are you ready to lift them? Always. Always. We lift up holy hands. I was lost. We lift up holy hands. But now I'm found. To you. And that's why we lift up holy I can lift up holy hands. <laughs> always. always Is there somebody can say always? always. Somebody out there that can say always. <laughs> always Not just sometimes but always, always. Don't make me shout up in here <laughs> When I was lost he found me when I was hungry, he fed me. Always. Is there somebody can say always? always? Somebody ought to lift up their voice right now and shout always. Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for bringing us a mighty long way. Cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. Oh, we can make it always.